All right, folks, welcome back. We are continuing with our quest for completion. Uh, in our first episode, we got 95 unlocks, taking us up to 7%. Uh, with that, we've unlocked four new decks. So we've got the blue deck, yellow, green, magic deck. And so we're just going to continue where we left off. The plan is we will do at least one win on each deck just to try out the different experiences and then you know maybe we'll move on to uh, something a little bit more interesting maybe targeting unlocks from our collection or maybe taking on the higher difficulties these higher stakes but for now we'll go in with the blue deck on the white stake uh, again this is kind of the baseline uh, difficulty so shouldn't be too challenging shouldn't be too spicy the deck we're using is not too complicated we're gonna focus on just learning the basics now one thing that's different between the blue deck and the red deck okay red deck gives you extra discard blue deck gives you an extra hand uh, these don't mat differ super much but there is you know kind of a subtle difference um, on the red deck what we said is with the extra discard it is easier for you to find better hands easier for you to play fewer but higher quality hands uh, with the blue deck you can kind of do the same thing any of your hands you can play your garbage cards any cards that you would discard you could just play them and that is the same as discarding them uh, the one benefit of having a hand instead of a discard is however many hands you have left over, that can, then gets turned into money. So for the most part, the blue deck will be giving you, uh, you know, the same sort of uh, hand sculpting power that the red deck does. Instead of discarding, you can just play a hand full of garbage to get rid of it. Uh, the main difference is the extra hand will give you a little bit extra money. Uh, the blue deck is not strictly better. There are situations where you would rather have discards compared to hands. There are jokers that care about how many discards that you have. But in general, uh, having an extra hand is going to be slightly better on average than an extra discard. Also last time, uh, we started out with the obelisk, one of these rare jokers. It's kind of a mini game joker and we were trying to play around to make that mini game work. Uh, and we got into some tough spots we were able to get lucky and then get out of it but it made our last run kind of weird so maybe with this run uh it'll look a little bit more standard perhaps uh the first offering that we have uh we have the coupon tag so if we skip this blind we will get uh all of my booster packs and then jokers in the next shop will be free so we think about okay here we get however many uh dollars you know three dollars reward here plus if we play a hand and have four left over that'll be you know seven dollars this coupon tag is going to give me more than seven dollars worth of value if the jokers are free and the booster packs are free so this is one of the rare times where i actually want to take this skip something to keep in mind now this 300 points we said we can definitely do 300 points with just one hand in the first small blind here with the big blind if we have no jokers if we have no planet cards this is 100 percent going to require us to play two hands but since we have uh you know the blue deck here we have the extra hands that we can play it shouldn't be impossible uh we should also check out uh economy tag here doubles our money so it would just be four dollars uh that's not going to be you know that's going to be less than the reward money so we'll go ahead with the big blind all right in here to make uh 450 points you have a lot of options um if you get a full house you can back it up with maybe a two pair will work sometimes two flushes two straights some combinations of those will also work so here if i'm looking at kings and queens if i get you know either a king or a queen that's going to give me a full house that gives me halfway there but i know i can also win with just two flushes and maybe if i discard these going for the heart flush that's a little bit easier or even here the nine eight six 
uh, I have the option to either draw a 10 or draw a 5 as a straight. Uh, the flush is going to be worth more points than the straight. And there are, you know, let's see here. If I discard these, I'm looking for two hearts. Whereas if I discard, or sorry, if I keep these four here, I'm looking for only one card, either the 10 or the 5. So I'm going to go for the straight instead of the flush. Uh, even though the flush is worth more points. Um, I don't need that many po more points. I just need two hands. So let's go for the straight. And of the eight possible cards that we could have drawn, we ended up drawing the 10. We actually got uh, the jack as well. So here I can go ahead and play this straight. Uh, I'm going to keep the jack because it's a higher card than, you know, if I do this instead uh, with the six. I'm going to keep the jack or, you know, we can look at the deck here. It doesn't matter too much. We'll go ahead and ship this one. All right. And then with that being, you know, about 300 points, now we just need 150 points. So I think, you know, a two pair with maybe aces and jacks will work. Maybe. Uh, if not, we can also go for a flush. We said a flush would be fairly easy. Diamonds or spades here, it looks like. Uh, in the deck preview, there are more spades left than there are diamonds left. So we'll go for spades. Just like that. And we played two hands, and with the extra hand, we have three dollars or three hands left over for an extra three dollars. And then on top of all that, we get popcorn for free. We get here's a joker that we haven't discovered yet, the square joker. This is gonna reward us when we play exactly four cards, and it's gonna keep getting more and more chips. Uh, some things to note about this: it grows when you play four cards you don't always have to play four cards. You can play four cards some of the time to grow it and then, you know, play your big hand without, you know, play like a full house or something like that. Play a couple of two pairs and then end with a full house or something like that. Um, also, since we have the extra hands on the blue deck, we can play just garbage. You can play four at a time, four at a time, four at a time to level this up if we wanted to grow it very quickly. Um, maybe something caution. It's, you know, tempting to go all in on this and just level it up, burning all of our hands to level it up. Well, every time we use a hand to level it up, that costs us a dollar. And so you have to ask this question, is it worth it, this exchange rate, $1 per four chips for this uh, scaling, this permanent bonus? And I think sometimes it is worth it, but it's not worth it all of the time. And so maybe, hey, maybe don't go too crazy with it. Maybe don't spend all of your money, all of your extra hands building this up when you may get into a situation where you sell it later. You know, once we get the planet cards and once we start upgrading our hands here, we can get things like straight flush and four of a kind. We can get those up to 400, 500 chips base. And then, you know, even if this is 300, that's less than, or you know, it's maybe 50% of how much chips that we already have. And so any uh, multiplicative joker, you know, X multi joker would outpace this. So don't go too hard on this. Don't spend all your money on this. Uh, other options here we have, uh, these are free. I'm going to take the spectral pack first because that might inform me what kind of planet that I want to go for, maybe. Uh, let's see here, we can do polychrome on one of these. I would get rid of the popcorn and then go polychrome on the square joker. So now, you know, we level up the chips and it gives us this uh, times 1.5 from the polychrome. That could be worth holding on to. Me personally, the thing that I like to take uh, most often and definitely in this situation is Immolate. So Immolate is going to give us, instantly it's going to give us $20 uh, and then we're going to be able to earn interest from that. So it's going to keep 
paying more and more dividends on top of that $20 that we get. Also, it's going to thin our deck and you know remove five cards. So at the end of the day, whatever we want to be doing, whatever poker hand that we want to be going for, whether that's four of a kind or full houses or something like that, we need to be able to find our cards. We need to be able to draw our cards. We need to make our deck consistent. If you can't find the hand, then you just die, you lose. It doesn't matter what kind of jokers you have if you can't actually find your hand. And so uh, manipulating your deck and removing cards from your deck is very, very valuable. So this immolate here kind of gives you two benefits, two huge benefits, extra money and the interest that comes with it. And removing five cards is a benefit, not a drawback. And then in the Celestial Pack, I have the option between you know full houses and flushes or straights. Ne none of these are four card hands. So like I said, with the Square Joker, you can play a few four card hands to buff this up. And it doesn't have to be you know four cards like a two pair. You can just play any four cards as a high card that would also count. Um, but this is you know incompatible with these. That's okay for us. And I think the thing that I want to try to do, what I like to do with square is, you know, maybe do two pair, maybe do four of a kind. And if I'm going for four of a kind, if I'm going for duplicates, then maybe earth is the one that's most compatible with that because, you know, four of a kind can also be full house if you have duplicates. So let's go that direction. Also, if you just, uh, you know, we go to the collection here, we go to the, the planets, the scaling numbers, flushes, uh, plus two molt plus 15 chips, full houses, plus two molt plus 25 chips. So this is giving us more benefit than what the flush might be. So it grows bigger faster. So maybe that's an incentive to go for full houses. And also we won't flush his last run. So maybe we'll change it up this time. Uh, I am interested in this voucher making everything cheaper. Everything was already zero this time, but in the future now it will be cheaper. Um, and then we're gonna save our money for interest. All right, so going into the boss here, uh, my popcorn giving me plus 20 molt. So, you know, whatever hand that would normally give me 300 points, whether it's a straight or whether it's a flush or whether it's a full house for 300 points, this now raising my molt from four molt into 20 molt, that's gonna be, you know, times six, the score. That's gonna raise us up to uh, 1800 points. So I can play anything, um, even though these Clubs are debuffed here. I can go ahead and let's just play a spade flush. I leveled up my full houses, but I don't need to play a full house. You know, here I could even just play a straight. And here, like I said, we don't necessarily need to force the upgrade on the square joker. You know, cause we want to build up our money first. Though, possibly there, you know, I had some extra discards left or I could have kept discarding. I could have kept going to maybe uh, two pair would have done it and two pair also would have upgraded our square joker. Probably two pair is what we should have done to be completely honest. All right, here we've got, uh, you know, some more options. First thing that I'm looking at is the to-do list. The to-do list is a uh, money generating joker, value generating joker. This is gonna give us five bucks if we play a straight. So, you know, you buy it for three bucks, you can sell it for one dollar, and as long as we play a straight, you know, anytime in the next five rounds or whatever, it already pays for itself. So there's no risk in taking it. Uh, here we also have the red card. The red card is going to reward you when you open a booster pack, but then you don't see something that you like, so then you skip it. So this is one of those that can grow, you know, in value each round. You know, if you open both booster packs, maybe you skip one of them, it gets plus three per round. And so here sort of growing 
plus molt growing plus chips you know we're off to a great start here so i am going to take the red card and now with my extra money left over i am thinking about you know if i buy either of these booster packs i'm going to go below 25 dollars, and i'm not going to be able to make interest uh well you know i get some interest but the max interest happens when we have 25 dollars however because we have the to-do list this money that you gain during the round this is before your interest is calculated at the end of the round and so if i get the plus five dollars actually i go up to 32 here and with 32 i can afford to spend seven dollars and then i would have 25 left over so i am going to do that i'm going to buy both of these arcana packs uh what kind of order do i want to go in let's go the smaller one first because that's going to give us more information i guess you know if we go into the jumbo one we have more options so i want to have more information so let's take this smaller one first i can take temperance for an easy seven bucks uh wild cards if i wanted to go for flushes um, i think i'm just going to take the two random planets here even if I end up not using them, you know, that's like $3 for each planet. That's comparable to the $7 temperance. And these are exactly the ones that I wanted to see. Like I said, uh, two pair is compatible with the square joker. And as a backup hand, full houses. So maybe that's what we're doing. We're doing two pairs and then sometimes full houses uh, when we need the really big scoring. All right, so in the jumbo pack here, we have, again, you know, more of these suit changing things if we want to go for uh, flushes. Um, you know, let's just keep this train going. You know, one option here is to take a stone card. Um, and then so with my square joker, if I'm doing two pair, sometimes I can throw in a stone card there, or maybe I can play just a regular pair and then add a stone card. But I think I'm going to continue with uh, the planet card picking up an earth card here you know that bonus you know an extra 25 chips that's not the same as you know plus 50 from a stone card but if you average it out over multiple hands some with stone cards some without stone cards uh, it ends up being just as good on average and then now you know if we get the higher levels of the poker hands here if we get the higher level full house then I don't need as much scoring jokers. And if I don't need as much scoring jokers, then I can use those joker slots for value instead. I could get a to-do list. I could get some other joker that gives me value instead of score because I can use the planet cards for scoring. All right, we're presented with uh, another coupon tag. So again, here we get the option the next round, you have all your stuff is free. Um, so that's a huge discount um, for the jokers being free you know we're getting more and more stuff here you know our joker slots are filling up so maybe i'm not able to buy all of the jokers that i find um, though maybe with the popcorn eventually it's going to go away so this is something that i'm trying to get rid of uh, square joker i'm not you know super attached to it necessarily so i might be trying to get rid of that as well um, it is a common and it's one of the cheaper commons so it's not super powerful anyway even if you do invest a lot of time and a lot of hands into leveling it up it's not super powerful um, also with the red card you know more shops are more booster packs and so you have more opportunity to level up the red card so even though we took this coupon tag before I'm not gonna take the coupon tag now in addition to our reward money in addition to our hands and our interest now I also have the to-do list. You know, maybe I play this straight, maybe I play two hands and get $10 instead. Then that would be worth more than this coupon tag. And that's entirely separate from the fact that if I take this, I go to the next round and all future rounds are one round earlier. And so, you know, jumping from 800 to 1200, that means this is a 50% increase is this coupon tag not only is it worth as much money as i am skipping is it also worth 
50% more than what I'm skipping because my scores are going to increase by 50%. All right, how do we make a straight out of this? We've got king, queen, jack. We did, remember, we took the immolate, so we removed some cards from our deck. You know, for example, we've got less queens and less aces, less tens. So trying to make a straight with, you know, an ace here and a 10, maybe that's not gonna work. We've got just the three tens left over here. Maybe I wanna go for, uh, if I get another four, here that could be a straight also so let's try that instead let's try for the four to get that straight instead of this here the we have three tens here and i just need the 110 and that would complete this straight compared to here if i go for six five and three i need more i need not just the four i also need a two and a seven or two or a seven. I need uh, those different things. But I think with this uh, five and six here connected, um, I can grow it in different directions. If I get the seven, I can t you know, do another eight, nine or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm not 100% claiming that this is correct, but this is the way that I'm gonna do it. All right, there we go. We ended up with the two and another three here. And I would have gotten the 10, but that's okay. We can still get the four here, just like that. All right, this straight combined with the plus 16 from the popcorn, this is definitely going to win the round, uh, but I, I need to do it. I need to get my $5 from my straight. I should have paid attention to how much score that gave us. Oh well. All right, the next thing we have is a full house. Okay, no problem, I'm into that. I'm into making a full house. Uh, other planet options here, uh, straights. We're off straights, we're on mostly, we're going for two pair and full house, or mostly full house, not necessarily two pair. Possibly four of a kind also, if we get the right planet cards. Um, three of a kind as a possible backup for, you know, you're going for full houses and you don't get it, so you play three of a kind instead. Um, and then also three of a kind that's compatible with the square joker. That's something that we wanted to keep go going for. Um, I don't think that's necessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these celestial packs by leaving these in the shop. I'm not going to get these duplicates. I'm trying to get upgrading my full houses. There we go. Option between, you know, this Neptune has a huge bonus here, plus 40 chips, plus three molt compared to uh, the full house here. But we already have this upgraded. And then also we, you know, straight flush is the reason why it scales so fast is because it's legitimately as hard to make. We demonstrated that in the previous video, trying to make straight flushes uh, and almost dying because of it. All right, once again, let's take a look. And we get the same options. Picking up the earth here, level six, full houses. This is very early to be this high. Level six is insane for anti two. Round three, uh, because we took some skips. So with just three shops, we were able to get up to level six. Uh, that's gonna be great for us. We've got $31 here. I am, let's see here, the handy tag gives me $4. I'm gonna play the big blind so I can pick up this voucher after the next round. Some consideration for do I want to pick up these uh, planet cards because as I said before, they block the duplicates. I am gonna do that. So with the planet cards, because there's only, you know, if we look at here, uh, this is nine different poker hands. If I eliminate two of these, that boosts up the chance of me getting the one that I want uh, by a huge margin. Uh, it's a huge difference, just blocking these two. 
uh, compared to the tarot cards with their you know 22 different tarot cards if i'm holding on to two of them then you know that's not going to move the needle that much all right 1200 points uh i think with my leveled up full house here uh 160 times 14 i don't know how much that is uh it's definitely more than this we'll, we'll find out how much that is so how do i make a full house with what i've got uh i've got two jacks with two more jacks that i could get i've got three fives in the deck so maybe i'll do something like this I have two of each. I have two aces, two queens, two tens, two ten or two eights, and then two threes. But I have three fives. So let's go for that full house. Even though we threw away the oh, we didn't throw away a key. Well, there it is. Um, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, apparently it claims that this is going to be higher than twelve thousand or twelve hundred. Uh, I believe it. And then the next one is two pair. Great. All right, so we know when the popcorn was on 12, we were able to get 6,000. And so for a full house here, 14 and 12 is 26, was 4,000. And then now with our popcorn on plus eight instead of plus 12, instead of uh, 26, this would be 22. So maybe that's, Let's call it 20% less. So with the popcorn on eight instead of 12, that's about 5,000 is still enough to completely one shot, not just this next round, but the next four rounds probably, even without this popcorn, as long as we play a full house. So probably we, what we're looking to do is, you know, play one hand for the to-do list and then as our scoring hand, play a full house. All right, since we have a ton of money, all of our, you know, a bunch of this extra money coming from the to-do list, we got that immolate giving us the interest. Now we can basically buy everything. So let's buy, before I take the buffoon pack, I'm gonna take this, uh, it's a crafty joker. Um, not because you want this, but because I want the unlock, and then so I'm just gonna sell it. Um, and then the buffoon pack after because this, this buffoon pack has something that I actually want something that I don't want to sell Then I won't be able to pick up that crafty joker As I'm going for these unlocks here Okay, couple options uh, Scoring for flushes uh, scoring for three of a kind so this you know, we're playing three of a kind we're playing full houses This will contribute to that scoring um, except this is holographic here, giving a plus 10 molt. So automatically this is better than either of these scoring things. We do have to ask the question, okay, which is better, you know, income wise value generating reserved parking versus the gift card. I think the gift card is going to be better. So the gift card, remember it increases the sell value of your jokers, increases the sell value of your consumables that you're holding on to. And so, you know, we can get plus $7 per round from this. Reserve parking, what you can do is, you know, let's say you have only four face cards in your hand after discarding. You could just play four cards and then with your four face cards, get $2 from that. And so what this allows you to do is you spend a dollar to play a hand and then you get $2 back for that hand. Or maybe you get $5 back or maybe you get, you know, more dollars if you have more face cards. You don't necessarily need a lot of face cards uh, for this to be good. And this is good even better on blue deck where you have the extra hand. You can just play a hand, a garbage hand just for money. But I think here the gift card is going to take the edge here uh, because also it has the holographic. All right, let's take a look at what the Arcana pack has for us. All of these suit changers, we are interested in making full houses, or at least, you know, we're pretty invested in these full houses with the planet cards. So, you know, these are not necessarily what I want to be doing. 
But what we might be able to do is we might be able to transition to, in the late game, convert full houses into flush houses if we get the right suit changers. So if I want to make flush houses, how might we go about doing that? Uh, I have four jacks in the deck. I have, let's see here, four fours and four sevens. I have three threes and two twos. And so jack, seven, four, those, if I turn them into, let's say clubs, then I've got, you know, more jacks of clubs and more uh, sevens of clubs and fours of clubs. So let's do that. And then we said, we just beat the big blind here. If I want the voucher, I have to buy it now or else it'll get replaced after the boss. So I will be taking this. And if I re-roll here, you know, there may be something that I want and I may spend money on it. So instead of re-rolling, uh, we'll just go next. I know already that I don't need the points. All right, here we've got two pair is the thing that I wanna do. So how do I do two pair? Uh, we've got with the kings, I have only two queens, only two tens. I only have two threes. So maybe three, 10 and queen, those I wanna throw away. Uh, the Between the five and the king, I'll throw away the five. Um, and so remember, it's better to hold on to this king and try to pair it than it is if I throw away this king, then the random cards that I get could be cards that I don't have duplicates of and it could be harder to pair them. So. Pairing this king is the same as pairing a random card that I draw into. All right, that looks like two pair, just like that. Or maybe we'll do two pair just like this. And if we play exactly four cards, that's gonna level up our square joker. unfortunately ending the round early so that you know we're not able to get more value out of our to-do list and so you know sometimes if you really want to play greedy if you really want to play on the edge uh, you can in that situation sell your scoring jokers and play hand play more hands at lower scoring in order to get more to-do list money that's something that I've done in the past. Uh, it's very thrilling, but you know, also admittedly very risky. All right, some options here. The runner we tried out last time, uh, giving us chips whenever we play a straight, or it could be a, a straight flush also works. Uh, that's not really what we're into. This plus 150 chips with four of a kind. That could be something that I want to do later. But for right now, we've gotten mostly in the shops that we've done, five rounds, five shops, we've gotten mostly the celestial packs. We're missing the deck manipulation. We're missing the you know strength cards, death cards to make copies in our deck. And so this is not something that I'm able to do right now. But let's go ahead and take this celestial pack and you know between these earth or mars full houses are not only easier to make but they're also you know we've already invested so let's keep investing you are rewarded for going deeper and deeper on one type of hand uh let's do with the mega standard pack so now we're looking for ways to potentially help us make our full houses so for example Okay, here I've got four kings and three queens. So I can take this king, will give me five kings. So that's something that I definitely wanna do. Now for the lucky queen, I might be interested in it because it's a lucky card, but I already have three queens. And so maybe I'm leaning more in the direction of remove the queens rather than trying to add queens. 
this lucky card most of the time i'm not interested in getting the molt from it most of the time i'm interested in getting the money from it and it gives you you know twenty dollars one in 15 times so that's about you know a little bit more than one dollar on average and so is this card that sometimes when i draw it sometimes it gives me a dollar uh well it gives me twenty dollars but you know on average one dollar uh is that worth bloating my deck with an extra card the answer is no, in my opinion. And so what we'll do instead is we'll just go for another king. And then now we've got six kings. It'll be easier to make full houses with kings. Now this could be a possibility. Now we could have uh, this four of a kind happening. Um, if that's something that we want to do, this popcorn is already gonna go away. So, you know, we might as well sell it. This I'm going to take partially because, you know, it's a new unlock for us and partially because it we're speculating, right? This is something that we could do in the future, four of a kind with the uh, square joker here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we don't get there, but that's, you know, it's a possibility. So we'll leave ourselves open. Uh, the worst case scenario is we end up selling it for one dollar or the gift card raises the value and, you know, we end up getting all of our money back anyway. Uh, also pointing out here, if this gives us 150 chips, the square joker has a long way to go in order to get to 150. And so if we had spent a lot of hands trying to level up the square joker, it would still be worse. It would still be worse than the clever joker. We would still end up selling it. We would have lost all of those extra hands that we played leveling up the square joker. That's why I said, don't go too crazy with it. Don't invest too much in it. You might end up replacing it later, even though it can theoretically scale forever. Uh, the grabber voucher gives us an extra hand. Uh, absolutely, let's take that. Um, you know, one thing that it does is we can maybe get more to-do list action if we have more hands, or at the very least, an extra hand is always worth an extra dollar. Coupon tag, again, we're going to not take the coupon tag for the same reason we didn't take the last one. Looking to make, okay, if we just play high card. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four. That's a high card. I'm gonna keep the sevens and the kings, hoping to make a full house. And I'm gonna play exactly four cards for this square joker. already 500 points for just a high card uh next on the to-do list is a straight flush with three discards and then five hands that we can use as discards it's not impossible and we already made some extra clubs so looking at this the ten of clubs we already used unfortunate we could get the eight seven six five of clubs do we want to do that it's risky so the way that i think about it is if i discard five cards then i redraw five cards and so three discards that's 15 cards that i get to see with the hands here if i play four hands five cards each that's another 20 cards i get to see 35 cards out of my 37 here. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go for the straight flush. We have a lot of chances, a lot of opportunities to make this work. You know, we already got the eight there. We know there's no 10. We have 22 cards left in the deck. But like I said, if we play five we get to see five i could play four to level up my square joker but i don't want to get in a situation where you know if i don't get the straight flush you know i might die or something like that um i don't think that's going to happen this early i think we're fine you know we have the plus molt from the holographic card here we got the plus chips from the square joker here it doesn't really matter what hands we're playing this square joker i'm, I'm just going to replace it so I don't, I'm not worried about leveling it up. 
All right, we got the five, now we just need the six. I'm not leveling this up on purpose, but it did happen there somewhat coincidentally. Uh, we're still looking for the six. If I hold on to the four, you know, trying to make this low end, I don't have the three of clubs anymore. So show me that six. One more chance to get the six. If we don't get the six, well, we should have enough points here, right? High card is worth about uh, 440 points. So, you know, two of those is gonna be enough. Like I said, with the benefit of the gift card uh, being holographic and the square joker leveling up. So there, you know, we ended up not getting it. So we might as well play whatever, doesn't matter. How about two pair since we have it leveled up? This to-do list, you know, it's given us uh, $15, $20 already. So if I end up selling it for the same price that I purchased it, uh, that's okay. So here we've got, this is the eight ball, rewards you for playing eights. And so it rewards you for making more eights, you know, full houses with eights, two pairs with eights, four of a kind with eights. Maybe that's something that we're interested in doing. Uh, I can replace my to-do list. How many eights do I have in the deck? I have only three eights, but that doesn't mean I can't get more. So straight flush, mm, we tried. We knew it was gonna be hard. I think we're gonna have to let go of the to-do list. Also, this is a new unlock for us, the eight ball. All right, I don't need to be leveling up my two pair if I have my full house leveled up. Um, but maybe we'll do that as a backup. You know, since we have the money, might as well hedge a little bit. And then so here between two pair or full house, I'd rather have the full house. Here, full house again. And then now I have $34, which means if I re-roll, I will have a little bit of money left over if I wanna potentially buy something. Uh, for example, if I wanna buy the moon, or if I wanna buy the flower pot. So the flower pot, one, it's not discovered yet. Okay, so that's something interesting. Two, it's also uh, X molt instead of plus molt. If I am playing things like full house, then that could be the situation where I'm playing all of these different types of cards, all different suits. So, you know, there's a lot of things in the game that incentivize you playing all of the same suits. So like if you get one of the suit jokers, uh, like we had last time, the lusty joker gave you, uh, you know, plus four for every heart that you play. There's a lot of these that reward you for playing all of one suit. Also, you know, a flush, is a valid poker hand. A straight flush is a valid poker hand. Uh, flush house is a valid, in this game, poker hand. <clears throat> Playing, you know, all different suits, that's not, that's not a thing. Um, and so maybe this is not often what you want to be doing, right? There are things that reward you for playing flushes. There are things that reward you for doing what you're already doing. This is incentivizing you to do something entirely different. Go against the you know normal pattern of playing all of the same suit. But it can be worth it. And so since we have you know kind of a mix-ish of suits, I think we're gonna go for this. I think we will make it worth it. One thing that you can do to make this worth it is if you play more wild cards, wild cards will count as different suits, whatever suit that you're missing. Um, the red card we haven't leveled up at all, and that's because you know from the different uh, booster packs that we've gotten, there's always been something of some value that we want. Um, so you know maybe this clever Joker is not really doing anything for us if we're playing full houses. That's not four of a kind. The square joker is not doing a whole lot for us, but plus 40 chips is not zero. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of the clever joker. 
We said before we might not stick with it, and so that's fine. I think I'm more likely to want to keep the red card. We didn't level it up yet, but we could level it up in the future. Again, red card like the square joker is not necessarily something that you need to go all in on because you may find something better later. No matter how leveled up this is, even if you get up to plus 30, plus 40, you, you can still find better things. So don't waste your money just buying and skipping booster packs just to level this up. 4,000 points, because we already have the level nine full house, uh, I already know that 200 times 20 is 4,000. 240 times 20 is uh, 4,800. Uh, even without any jokers, uh, even without the flower pot bonus, any full house will work. But let's try to make a full house with eights if we can. So instead of this tens and fours, let's try to get the eights. And that's it, eights and fours. Give it a try. Eights and fours, just like that. Now, full house will definitely win it. Will two pair also win it? Will this two pair also win it? Because if I do this two pair, then I can level up my square joker a little bit and I can get, uh, you know, because we took the two pair planet card, like I said, you know, hedging, uh, then this may still work. So let's try it. I don't want to calculate it, so let's just try it. Uh, between these, you know, if this is going to give me a planet card and I want to get, get rid of a planet card, let's get rid of the Saturn card. And then here we go. Nice. So we know two pair with the flower pot bonus is going to be uh, 5,000 points, a little bit more than 5,000 points, not quite. 5600 though so let's keep that in mind on the final boss we probably need a full house you know if you're losing one card per car or losing one dollar per car played maybe you want to play four cards instead of five cards maybe you want to play two pair instead of full house uh, but we know two pair is not going to be enough unless maybe we get some kind of upgrade here so let's see what kind of options we have for upgrading uh standard packs first All right, so we have an option for an extra five. Really what I'm looking for now are more kings and more eights to try to get this eight ball value. So even though this five is foil, even though this five is lucky, I have four fives, I could go up to five fives. I'm gonna skip it. And another benefit there is I get plus three molt. All right, the next standard pack Still no eights, but we do have, this is a purple seal. And so this is one of those, you know, sort of rare situations where it doesn't matter that it's a queen. It doesn't matter that I have only three queens. It doesn't matter that this is not an eight, which is the thing that I actually wanted. Because this is a purple seal, it's worth it. No matter what it is, it's worth it. Because the purple seal we demonstrated in the last one how to get a bunch of tarot cards, how to get from those tarot cards to a bunch of deck manipulation. And so, you know, here with the tarot cards, uh, I'm gonna use the emperor. Let's make some room. Smashing, okay, we've got plus $20 from the hermit, plus $22 from the temperance. Now we have a ton of money, we can do a ton of re-rolling if we want. And I think that is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna re-roll once. This is an incredible combo here. Uh, Vagabond gives you tarot cards if you have low money. The uh, credit card allows you to go negative. And so you can go negative and you can use the Vagabond to just keep generating tarot cards because you'll be below the $3. Um, and, you know, if I wanted to, I could, you know, my red card is not really doing that much for me. I could sell it. My square joker is getting up there now. We're at 44 chips, um, but maybe I don't need it. If I can score, you know, already 6,000 points with my full house without it. 
Uh, but I don't want to lose my money. I don't want to lose all of my interest. Though, you know, it is marginal. You could, you know, we have extra hands. We have the grabber voucher giving us extra hand, blue deck giving us an extra hand. So extra hands means extra tarot cards. Hmm. I might have talked myself into it. Now I'm tempted. So if I want to do that, and I'm going to lose all of my money here. But I can use those hands to level up my square joker. Yeah. So, red card that's only three molt. Now it's this Vagabond. Uh, the eight ball I'm not necessarily attached to. Uh, I do want to keep the flower pot for the uh, X molt here. Eight ball. This credit card I don't need, but I know I'm going to reroll and I know I'm going to spend all my money, so I'm going to take it just for the unlock. But I know that I don't want this, so I'm going to sell it. All right. This is cool. We got a rare joker. It's the uh, sixth sense. So this, when you play a six, it destroys it, removes it from the deck. That's great. That's a good thing. Gives us a spectral card also. That's another great. That's a benefit. So I am into that. Instead of the eight ball, this is a perfect upgrade. I should have done this. I should have done the judgment. Maybe I will make up for that. So let's do this. Square Joker, it's been fun. I said we weren't gonna go too deep on the Square Joker. Banner, there we go. Banner is giving us more chips than the Square Joker would have given us. Uh, we're gonna reroll again. Remember, we need to go down on our money in order to make the Vagabond work. So here, let's just buy and sell for unlocks. Man, we keep, we just getting all the good stuff now. Uh, the Hallucination, this is another one of my favorites. Uh, mo partially just because the art is fucking wild. Uh, so I, d I really do love the art on this one. Um, also, this gives you a tarot card sometimes when you open a booster pack. And that's good enough. You know, on average, you're getting one tarot card per shop. Um, I maybe don't need this at the same time as Vagabond. Vagabond is already giving me, with six hands, giving me six tarot cards per round. And so the extra one on top of that, maybe not super important. Uh, but it is, again, holographic to go with our other holographic card here. So huge scoring potential there. That's a great pickup. Uh, these planet cards that I don't have unlocked yet. So we'll go ahead and pick those up. Pluto was the one that I didn't have unlocked yet. Uh, another Joker to unlock here. I think I'm done with the flower pot. Uh, Vagabond giving me a lot of tarot cards. Tarot cards often, you know, you get the suit changers. And so maybe this is the situation where I'm gonna warp the deck towards, uh, you know, flush five again. You know, five of a kind kings that are all the same suit. So, you know, this is what I say with the flower pot. You know, there's so many incentives in the game to have all of the same suit. So this is uh, going against what everything else in the game is telling you to do. We could do better. We can get some other kind of uh, X mult. We definitely don't need it now. We'll take this for the un unlock, the Jolly Joker. Droll Joker, Lusty Joker, we played with those last time. Oh, man. Okay, blueprint. That's gonna give us a copy of a Joker. So for example, if we put it on the Vagabond, now every hand gives us two tarot cards. If we put it on the Hallucination, now every booster pack has you know twice the opportunity to give us a tarot card. Uh, if you put it on Sixth Sense, it's incompatible. You can only get the one Spectral card. But you know already this combination here one thing to point out, Blueprint does not copy editions. So this plus 10 molt from this holographic edition, this is not gonna give me plus 10 molt 
uh, from my blueprint. It's still good. Blueprint is still good. It allows us to, you know, copy uh, the Vagabond for extra tarot cards. Um, I need to spend. So let's spend. I'm not able to reroll anymore. I need to get somehow below eight bucks. How do I get below eight bucks? Maybe sixth sense is not what I want to be doing. Maybe hallucination and gift card is what I want to be doing. This is really powerful, but I don't think we need this. So let's get rid of that, which means I can, if I sell both of these, I can reroll down to zero dollars. If I buy and sell these here, I won't go below. So that's what we need to do. We need to sell and we need to reroll. Now we're at zero. Now we're good to go. All right, what are we looking for here? We know that we can win with a full house. And so maybe let's try to look for a full house. We've got aces and potentially we could get a queen or we've got the extra kings in our deck. So maybe I'll do something like this. Show me kings. There's a king. There's some fives. Show me more kings. All right, so we got the kings, we got the aces. That's it, we got the full house. That's definitely gonna win. So we'll use the blueprint uh, on the Vagabond here to just generate tarot cards. Cost me a dollar. All right, we got the temperance. If we use it, it'll, you know, we won't be able to do the Vagabond stuff. So, damn. Would I rather have $13 or, you know, however many tarot cards we will get? I think I would rather have the tarot cards. So we'll sell this for a dollar. Emperor gives us two tarot cards. Uh, we can go star to make some diamonds. Make all our kings into diamonds, that's an option. Uh, we did clubs before, so we'll keep the clubs for now. Uh, oh, we can use the fool. We get more diamonds. Now all of these are diamonds. This is now, instead of a full house, this is a flush house worth less points. That's okay. Let's go ahead and play a six. Okay, we got the hangman. So the hangman can, for example, you know, here are these two cards, I can get rid of them. It's not a king, so I feel fine getting rid of it. Judgment here for an extra. We got the square joker to come back around. This one happens to be polychrome, and so maybe I feel better about trying to keep it and do some square joker stuff. Let's play just the one king because it only costs us one dollar to play it all right we've got justice here we can make a glass card we've got the tower we can make a stone card stone card i don't need glass card maybe since i have the diamonds here i'm gonna make a glass 10 and what i'm hoping to do with this glass 10 is i'm hoping that it breaks Let's give that a try. All right, now the question is, you know, do we use the temperance for the money or do we play the hand for the vagabond value? And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the vagabond value. Uh, we've got four kings of diamonds. We've got one king of clubs. I could make more clubs. Uh, I think we're gonna pass on that. I'm gonna save the temperance. Instead of getting two tarot cards, I'm just gonna get one tarot card here by playing a six. So it costs me a dollar and a hand is another dollar, but I do get uh, the strength card here. And so with the strength card, I could turn these kings into aces. 
that's not something that I'm interested in doing. Uh, I am going to use the temperance now. Uh, getting the money now, I do get the interest from it. Uh, the strength card, I'm going to save that. I'm going to try to turn my queens into kings. Here, we said flush house is not worth as much as a full house. Though, potentially, something we want to think about is if I play the flush house now, it unlocks the flush house, and then I can start getting the planet cards for the flush house. I can start upgrading the flush house. But if I want to play flush five, you know, with all the tarot cards, potentially making flush five, then if I skip and I the uh, flush house, then I can get only the flush five planet cards and I won't get any of the uh, flush house planet cards. I think that's actually what we want to do. So I'm going to play a regular full house now, choosing on purpose not to play the flush house. Alright, in the shop now, okay, a lot of great options. Uh, one thing I want to do is move the blueprint onto my hallucination so I have a better chance of getting tarot cards. This strength I want to hold on to to turn my kings or my queens into kings or at least turn my jacks into queens. So let's go ahead and open the celestial pack. Fool here for another temperance. I'm into that. Or we have potentially a Mars card here. Let's go Temperance. Use the Mars card first. And then use the Temperance second. And then that way, you know, we if we get another Fool, we can copy Temperance. All right, here Four of a Kind is great for us. If we want to go for Flush Five, but we don't want to play Flush House, we don't want to play Five of a Kind, we can play Four of a Kind as the backup hand until we unlock our Flush Five. And so we want to try to get more of these Four of a Kind cards. Uh, Mars, I think it is. Now with the $33 here, we do need to spend down in order to turn our Vagabond back on. So... We'll open here, purple seal 10. We said purple seals are valuable, important for potentially making uh, more tarot cards. That could be something that we're interested in. Since I have the Vagabond, maybe I'm not as concerned about being able to make tarot cards, so maybe I don't need this as much. So this time I'm going to pass. We have only two 10s in the deck, so this would add more 10s to the deck and make it harder to make full, uh, full houses. So we'll skip. All right, we did get the Empress though. All right, some Joker options. We've got the, this gives us a re-trigger on all of the cards that we play. This is helpful if you have, you know, if you use the tarot cards and you get the enhanced cards, you get the plus chips or plus molt then this is something that we can do, uh, doubling all of those effects. Uh, this is most impactful when you have additions on your cards, if you have polychrome cards or if you have holographic cards. Um, this is also perishable, so every time you play a hand, it'll tick down, and if we're using Vagabond and we're playing lots of hands, this is not really what we want to be doing. Uh, here I think I'm going to... I'm going to keep the square joker because it's polychrome. That's going to help us with the scoring. I'm going to sell the hallucination just to make room so I can buy. And then I'm just going to sell. The seltzer is not actually what I want. Showman allows you to get duplicates. I actually don't want duplicates, except for maybe I would accept a duplicate blueprint. We'll see. And I do want this voucher. Blank voucher does nothing when you pick it up, but uh, there is an unlock for getting the blank voucher 10 times. And then after that, there, the upgraded voucher gives you an extra joker slot. Uh, another Mars card here I am going to take, you know, like I said, as that backup hand. As we're going for the flush five, if we don't get the flush five, we can play four of a kind as backup. 
Sixth Sense coming back around. We have an opportunity to pick up a banana here. I am interested in the banana. And it's even better, it's a holographic banana. You know, people get sad, oh, it's an addition banana. You know, it's just gonna die, you're gonna lose. You paid extra money for it just for it to die, this one in four chance. But the when the banana dies, it unlocks the ability to get another very powerful joker. So don't feel bad if your banana dies. Don't feel bad if it has an addition. It does what it needs to do. Uh, now we've got two bucks left over. I'm going to sell the Empress for a dollar, buy the Sun, and then sell it for a dollar. And that's going to, instead of having three dollars left over, now we've got two dollars left over. Just gives us a little bit more wiggle room with the Vagabond. Remember, you have to stay below three dollars or less. Uncommon Joker. So now we're in a situation where if I play the round, I'm getting, you know, potentially like 12 tarot cards. That's way better than this uncommon joker. That's way better than one spectral pack. So from now on, no skips. We don't even have to think about it. Uh, jacks, I could turn into queens. Uh, mostly I'm looking for uh, queens to turn into kings knowing that I only have the four queens on the deck. But let's still go digging. Okay, so we drew some kings there. Still looking for our queens. All right, we got the five kings, if we need to. Um, let's play here these and... Let's play two of these kings. We should be able to get more. Actually, I'm gonna play the kings of diamonds. You know, whatever tarot cards that I get, um, I could, you know, potentially get a suit changer and then be interested in making more diamonds if I get a star. So I'm gonna throw away these diamonds and then try to use the tarot cards on those kings. Let's give that a try. Oops. Worth too many points. We're too powerful. And so maybe uh, I need to sell some of this stuff. Let's see here. We've got the Temperance. Takes us up to $36. You know, this Vagabond here getting below $3 is actually kind of hard, it turns out. Standard pack. Queen could turn into a king. Purple Seal could give us more tarot cards. This Queen... It's glass, and so, you know, it's also gold seal. It gives you money when you play it, but it being glass has a chance to break when you play it. What we can do with the extra tarot cards from the Vagabond, we can give it some other kind of enhancement. It doesn't have to stay glass. This I am into. Realizing now, if I get the money from the gold, gold seal, it turns off the Vagabond, so maybe I don't want that. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, this is a tough spot, right? Because we want kings. This is a king. It's a purple seal king. That's an even better king. But this is a polychrome card, which is somewhat rare and quite powerful. And I have this strength card. If I want, I can try to turn this 10 into a king. Or I can just copy this 10 and make some other different, instead of making five of a kind kings, I could go five of a kind tens. We gotta go for the polychrome card and hope that the Vagabond gives us enough strength. All right, these jokers uh, I don't need. What I do need is making room. Square joker, your polychrome, uh, you know, times 1.5, we could do better and we'll just pick these up for the unlocks. And then just spend our money. Oop, Temperance giving us more money to spend. Greedy Joker, we already have unlocked. The Abstract Joker. Uh, tower, maybe. If we hold on to the tower, you know, there won't be duplicates. Uranus, 
maybe uh, as a backup. Do we need backup two pair or are we doing fine with these four of a kind full house? I think we're doing fine without this. We don't need the backup. We could take an egg here. Another value generating joker gives you more value every round that you pass. Let's, instead of this tower, we'll switch it to this. All right, here's another unlock. Gives us chips for playing three of a kind. But I don't need that. We'll find something better later. So we'll keep spending our money. Now, how do I get below $3? Well, one way to do that is to sell this and then re-roll. I think that's what I want to do. Ah, I would have loved to have the juggler with the extra hand size. Or, you know, pick this up for the unlock. That's okay. We don't need the spectral pack. So, we demonstrated in the previous round, we're not actually able to play six hands because we score too many points. We're only able to play maybe one or two hands. And so maybe one way to get around that is if I sell the gift card, if I lose this plus 10 molt, I'll be able to play more hands. Or accepting the fact that I can only play one or two hands per round, is this spectral pack now worth more than the two tarot cards that I get from playing one hand? Or the potentially three or four tarot cards that I get from playing two hands? Is this spectral pack worth more than that? It could be. But if I take this skip now, it makes the end game, it makes the final boss occur one round earlier. So not only am I skipping a round now, the way you should think of this is I have one less round at the end of the game. The end of the game comes one round earlier. So I'm not just skipping this round, what I'm actually doing is I'm skipping the last round. I'm skipping my best round. Is this spectral pack worth more than whatever my best round is. Not just this round currently, but the best round in the future. And the answer is no. All right, uh, we've got looking for kings and queens, queens that I can turn into kings. Let's go. All right, so we got our queens there. Um, it'd be nice if we could get diamonds. I guess it's not 100% essential. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw it out now. Um, is there something that I'm looking for specifically? Ah, I should have waited for the polychrome card. I am trying to upgrade that polychrome card. I'm going to throw away, here's two kings. I only need three kings in order to make a full house, so I'm going to keep digging. We've got this gives us... Uh, money on our gold seal card. So maybe that's something that I want to play later. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to play these cards. Hopefully we don't overscore. I think with just a high card, we'll be safe. It was the two pair. The two pair was upgraded. That was the problem. Okay, so we got the death card. So if I wanted to, I could immediately, I can make more kings. Or I can go for more queens. I could make more of this purple seal card. Here I said with the glass card, I can turn it into something else. So now it's no longer glass. Yeah, let's... I think we can unlock our uh, flush five in the future. And so maybe the thing that I wanna do is with this queen, Let's make a copy of this queen. I'm not going to be able to use it now, but you know, now that I have an extra purple seal, I can get more tarot cards that way. And now to win, a full house will win. Okay, got it. I don't need this tower. Emperor, I have strength now. I can go queens. Upgraded. Okay, uh, Wheel of Fortune, sure. 
I want to play one here. All right, star, one, two, three, now diamonds. Empress, might as well, one, two, molt cards. There we go, just like that, flush five unlocked. That is the power of the Vagabond. It makes the hardest to make poker hand trivially easy. And so let's, now that I've got my flush five technology, I'm going to play all of these cards hoping to find maybe my polychrome card. I have death here. If I want, I can make another purple seal or instead of a purple seal, I can make a gold seal for the money. I'm gonna go for the purple seal. Star if I need it, chariot if I want. You know, here's a steel card. Uh, I don't need this star anymore. You know, I have plenty of diamonds, so let's sell it. And let's play these, hoping to find my polychrome card. I do get the polychrome card, but I don't have, you know, sort of relevant tarot cards. So we'll use the wheel. Um, I could use the Empress or I can just sell it. $3 is okay. And then let's play, here's my flush five. All right, so here's something that I don't know. Um, I think this gold seal happens first. I think we get the money first and then after we don't get the card from the Vagabond. That's what I'm guessing is gonna happen. Let's try it out. That it seems like a bug. It seems like that shouldn't work, but you know, I'm not gonna complain either. We lost the banana, that's great. That means we have the opportunity to get uh, the upgraded banana. Temperance here, I can use it, or what I can do is I can wait until I get more jokers to you know use this for more value. Uh, Eris, that's the flush five, uh, flush five planet card, absolutely. Uh, standard pack here, sure. Does not give me anything that's important. Spectral pack. Opportunity for a seal or we can immolate. That's gonna give us, uh, you know, we even if I lose this king here, I still have more purple seals. I still have more kings of diamonds. So no problem taking immolate here you know, some consideration for getting a blue seal, but we will have, all of our consumable slots are gonna be filled up with tarot cards anyway, so maybe we don't even have room for a planet card. We'll take the immolate here. We get to keep the kings, great. You know, it wasn't essential, but that's fine. Do I want this Mars card as a backup for my flush five? I think yes. I don't think it's necessary, but we have enough value, we have enough money that it's, you know, not an issue. Uh, two new discoveries here. We've got, uh, you know, times three molt when we play three of a kind. So this is gonna be full houses and four of a kind and uh, flush five, perfect. Um, extra interest, not necessarily something that we need. Uh, we're, you know, trying to have low money for the Vagabond. Though, you know, if I do this Temperance, $34, I could just sell the Vagabond now. Now that I have all of the tarot value that I needed, but I think we can go harder. So I'm gonna try to reroll down all of my money. Uh, to the Moon is not gonna be what we want. We'll take the shortcut for the unlock. Hanged Man is great. Removing cards from our deck. Star we probably don't need, but we'll hold on to it for now. Fortune Teller we tried last time. Mars card for backup. The, this is new. So let's sell the shortcut. This gives us a free reroll if we want it. Okay, 
Then uh, here's another new discovery. So we can go judgment, red card, we can sell it. New discovery, this is odd Todd. Gives us chips for playing odd cards. We don't need to do that. Our kings are scoring enough on their own. And now we can go into the next round. Okay, one in seven cards drawn face down. If all of our cards are kings, then no problem. Let's see here. The low cards, I'm gonna use the hangman on those. And this could be a king. I'm gonna discard it anyway. I'm holding on to the 10 of diamonds because I'm trying to get tarot cards and maybe I'll get a strength card. Okay, so I've got tens here, this queen, and then this could be a queen, 10, or a jack, which means it's safe for me to discard this if I want. So actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep the queen because that's gonna be like an indicator card. Uh, and then that way I can see if it's bigger than a queen or if it's less than a queen. So we'll discard these. All right, so here I can see these could be kings or queens. Uh, if I sort by suit, I know that these are diamonds. So if they're diamonds, I don't have another queen of diamonds. I do have kings of diamonds, right? So if I go suit, these have to be kings of diamonds. Great. So acknowledging that these are queens of diamonds, uh, I or kings of diamonds for sure, guaranteed. Let's maybe discard this queen. I'll keep this king and then potentially convert it with the star. So these are now these kings. That's all of my kings, right? So all of my kings are diamonds. Perfect. I've got five kings here. Let's play one of our kings. Oh, dodged a bullet there. That was the money making one. Uh, we didn't want the money because we didn't want to deactivate our Vagabond. All right, uh, do we want the star from the Fool card? Not really, but if I sell the tarot cards, that's not what I want to be doing either. So we'll take these two, we'll turn them into hearts, and you can see there that's a two, and we're gonna turn them into diamonds, just as a way of using up our tarot cards. So something interesting here with the kings, uh, in the deck here I've got, let's go to the full deck, here's the, the gold seal one, that's the furthest one to the right, the steel king that's right-ish, and then we've got the next in line, we've got the purple one, after the two blank ones, so here's two blank ones, this one is the purple one which means if I, you know, figured that out ahead of time, I could have discarded it. Um, but also I know that this purple one is already enhanced. This is the uh, bonus card with the plus chips. So I'm gonna put the chariot on a king. I'm gonna put it on the polychrome card. And so, you know, there's no synergy there. With Polychrome, you wanna play it. Steel card, you wanna hold on to it. Um, but this card, I have an incentive to hold on to it so that I can get tarot cards from the Vagabond and then, you know, use it on this one. So I always wanna hold on to this one. And then later when it becomes a king, I will be happy that it is a steel king. All right, with the Temperance here, is it worth it? Would I rather have $25 or, you know, potentially six tarot cards from the Vagabond? I'd rather have the money. So let's do this. Let's play one six, get one tarot card. All right, we've got a face down card. Could be the ace. Actually, if we go suit here, Wait, rank, suit, doesn't matter. Yeah, it could be an ace, could be another king. Uh, I'm going to sell justice, play this card, just to see what it is. It was the ace. 
lovers I don't need, but if I sell it, I go above $3, so I'll just use it. Uh, I already have enough kings, so I can go ahead and play one. World I don't need. I don't want to use it either, so let's go temperance, sell, one, two, three, four. This is the purple one. So maybe do something like that. Wait, is it the purple one? Yeah, maybe. I was wrong. And then now we know that flush five is worth 74,000 points. All right, so, you know, the rest of this is no challenge at all. <laughs> so let's just, uh, you know, we can play somewhat loose now. Standard pack. All right, doesn't have a king. No problem, Celestial pack. We want uh, four of a kind as a backup. All right, stuff we want here, you know, maybe we'll take Earth, we'll go reroll. No new unlocks here, reroll. Here's a new unlock, the Riff Raff Joker. Uh, this is another one of my favorites. Not only is the art great on this, uh, it gives you random jokers if you have room. Um, giving you two, has to be a common joker, but it could give you some wacky stuff. Highly recommend uh, the Riff Raff, but doesn't quite fit into what we're doing here. Uh, the bus we saw before, but we didn't have the opportunity to take it before Rewards us for not playing face cards, but we're gonna be playing Kings. So, you know, I'm not trying to do that uh, Hermit I'll go ahead and use it now Lovers All right, uh, I need to get below Three dollars. So maybe if I sell this and buy the photograph That'll do it Maybe if I want to go even lower, I can sell the Earth, pick up this Mercury. I don't need Earth anymore because now four of a kind and flush five, those are going to be my scoring hands. Either I draw all the kings or I don't. I don't need an Arcana pack. Sorry, we said we weren't going to skip anymore. All right. Uh, you know, I... I was just going through them really quick just to buy and sell jokers or whatever. Uh, photograph is actually not useless to us. You know, this times two molt. Something to keep in mind, if I play the five kings, this times two happens before any of these jokers. So this times two happens before this plus 10. Um, that means it's less good than if we had like a, you know, times two here from the duo instead of the trio. Um, but that doesn't mean it's useless either. Uh, our flush five gives us 20 molt. So then this uh, photograph is giving us 20 molt if we double that base number. All right, uh, I've got some stuff here to discard. I actually want to discard these. So let's use instead of sell and use instead of sell just to be safe. Discard use and the tower also use i guess doesn't matter and then we will discard just looking for more kings all right uh i do have in the deck i have the one more purple king so instead of using my discard i'm going to play these to get rid of them All right, Moon will use it, Priestess will use it. These, we'll just use them to get rid of them. All right, I want to, I'm still looking for that purple king and I got plenty of backup kings, so maybe I'll do this. Chariot, if I wanna make a steel card like that, Emperor. Another steel card, sure. Wild card, doesn't matter. We do get an unlock for having extra wild cards. Now that I drew my purple card, I'm gonna discard it. Strength, if I wanna turn this into 
a jack. So we just need two more strength cards, queen and then king. Perfect. Nine, king. We'll play him, just get rid of him. Careful, careful, let's not score too many points here. Uh, world, doesn't matter. Just to use it. Uh, magician. I don't need the plus four molt. I don't need the plus 30 chips. I'm gonna turn this into a lucky card. Every once in a while, every once in a while it's gonna give me money. All right. Temperance again, $30 now. We're happy to hold on to this gift card. So this gift card is giving us a ton of value, turning our tarot cards into, you know, now, if I generate 12 tarot cards in a round and I get just the one temperance card, I'm getting $50 every round. So I don't have to worry about interest. I don't have to worry about having low money with the Vagabond. Uh, another magician here, absolutely. <laughs> Love to see it. Uh, with the kings here, I've got a steel king. Uh, might as well play it. Hierophant. Uh, I don't need, and now we're at the end of the round, so it's safe to sell. Temperance, we'll use it. Here are all of my kings. And like I said, this polychrome card, I'm glad that it's steel, because I never want to discard it. Hundred and fifty thousand, that is enough to beat the final boss. Yeah, we can go even higher, flush five. We can go in here even higher, flush five. Uh, we've got some undiscovered jokers here. So, you know, let's go ahead and take that. Faceless joker gives you money each face card you discard. So for example, if we turn our whole deck into kings, we can get a ton of money from discarding kings. Maybe that's an option. Uh, these guys coming back around, uh, here's a new discovery. Um, as much fun as it is to get the money from doing the face cards, it kind of clashes with what we're doing with the Vagabond. Uh, also noting here with the blueprint, uh, you can copy this Faceless Joker and you can get twice as much money. And then at the end of the round, you can move the blueprint and maybe do something like this for the extra scoring. So... You know, that is quite powerful, but the Vagabond is already doing a lot for us. Uh, we could take the Fist here for the unlock. Eris card. Lucky Cat. Oh, yeah. So, Lucky Cat, it takes, a, it takes a while to get off the ground. It takes a little bit to get off the ground, but it upgrades permanently, giving you this X Molt bonus every time your lucky card triggers and this could be either trigger this could be the one in five for the plus 20 molt this could be the one in 15 for the plus 20 dollars uh either of those or sometimes both of those at the same time so you know if you play five lucky cards you get one upgrade every round this can grow pretty fast and we're only an anti five only round 12 so we've got a lot of time to grow this and with the vagabond giving us extra lucky cards I'm into this. I'm super into this. Another one of my favorite jokers. Uh, you know, again, the art is very cute. Uh, if we sell this, we can reroll down to zero and we can just use the Jupiter staying at zero dollars. Next. All right, we already have enough points to beat the final boss. Let's see how big we can go. Let's try to get into the, I don't think we'll get billions. It takes special technology to get billions, but I definitely think we can get multiple millions. All right, let's go purple seals. More lucky card. So for example here, lucky king. Uh, holographic vagabond. This is not doing super much because remember we've got, you know, flush five, the base is already 28 molt. And we've got these steel cards multiplying that before. The holographic is applied but 
you know, every little bit is fun. Every little bit helps. Uh, Jacks, I don't need. Extra king, I'm going to throw away because I'm looking for the lucky kings, actually. Um, if I look here, I've got the one more purple seal left in the deck. So maybe I'll play these hoping to draw the purple seal. Saving my last discard. All right, moon I can use. Sun I can use. Play the kings. Play even an extra king. I got so many kings. All right, here we've got uh, temperance, $35. That one I'm going to hold on to. Uh, the devil giving me a gold card. I don't super need that. So we'll just do this. We'll throw it on the jack and then immediately throw away the jack. Uh, we got another unlock the driver's license when you have sufficiently many enhanced cards in your deck. Four kings left, 14 cards left. If I do this, I will see 100% of my deck. No worries. And we did level up our four of a kind as a backup here. Also, we're t scoring a ton of points anyway. Lovers will use it. I'm going to keep the four lucky ones and throw away the rest. All right, Moon, we'll use it here on our stone card. Why not? We did draw the seal, so we can go ahead and discard Emperor. Yeah, we'll use the Emperor Death. So I do want to copy my Polychrome card, but maybe I don't need to copy my Polychrome card yet. I'm going to copy the King that has the seal on it. Now they're all lucky. All right, let's get some cat action. All right, let's play doesn't matter. Shit, it does matter because if I get the hangman, if I only have one card left, then I can't delete two cards. Oh well. We use the temperance here. We're gonna play our kings, and you know, just for fun here, we'll show you with the blueprint if I put it here, times three. Well, it's ticking. Uh, a little bit more than half a million. E standard pack. Probably we're good. I just have so much money. Eris card. All right, I'm looking for in the shop. Mostly, I'm looking for more unlocks. So let's let's see some more unlocks here. Let's go, Joker stencil. I'm not giving up the cat. The cat is too much fun. Uh, so I'm gonna give up my gift card for the stencil, just for the unlock. Stencil here gives you molt for each uh, Joker slot. So if you have one empty slot this gives you times two so the way to think about that is if you have two polychrome cards each one giving you 1.5 then 1.5 times 1.5 that's about a little bit more than times two so this is kind of like a polychrome card worth of value two joker slots for a total of times two bonus or potentially you could get more than that if you have more empty slots um, most of the time you're going to be filling your joker slots, so this is not going to be very exciting, not going to be worth it, not going to scale infinitely like the lucky cat does, but early game it can be quite powerful. Well, not even true, right, because early game, if it's early game and you don't have that many jokers and you don't have that much plus molt, then two times nothing is still nothing. You know, five times nothing is still, you know, not very much. So even early game, the stencil is not that good. You know, if you're scoring 300 points, five times 300 is just 1,500. So stencil, it could be better. In my opinion, it could be better. But you know, it's not a rare, it's just an uncommon. All right, we've got another unlock here, a rare Joker, the Ancient Joker. 
Uh, we talked about this last time, maybe. Uh, it gives you molt. It picks a random suit from your random suit, and then when you play that suit, then you get, you know, times 1.5 on all of your cards. If you have wild cards, you can get this to work all the time, no matter what suit you have. That's not really the technology that we have right now. So we're not gonna go for this Ancient Joker. Mime giving us a, a bonus for the held in hand ability. So for example, all of our steel cards turn, you know, gives us extra 1.5 on each steel card. So this could be, you know, 1.5, 1.5, two steel cards is worth times two. Three steel cards is worth times 3.7 or something like that. So you have to have three steel cards in hand for this to be equal to or better than you know the trio times three so this is much better if you have find some way to get large hand size but most of the time it's not going to be what you want all right we've got another new discovery here uh plus 20 molt if we play four of a kind uh and you know we could get the plus 20 and multiply it with these but you know we're already getting plus 30 base this extra plus 20 is minuscule we got the mime coming back around another lucky card don't mind if i do sell the jupiter more lucky cards you know we already have five lucky cards and we can only play five cards you know with the cat so oh well first hand is drawn face down bummer you're telling me all of this stuff is face down here? Tell you what I'm gonna do. These two cards on the right, what are the chances you think these are not kinks? I could just hang them, I can get rid of them. Hmm, maybe that's too risky. So let's go this, let's go one, two, three, four, five, get rid of them. Those I can, uh, this is probably a king, could technically be an ace. You know, if I do a suit switch here, it's definitely a diamond. So probably a king of diamonds. Do I still have the ace of diamonds? Yeah, it could be. Uh, jack here, which means there could be a queen in here, unless I got rid of the queens. I did get rid of the queens. So there's maybe just the polychrome jack. Let's do this for science. Since these are face down, um, I just want to know what they are. I'm going to play them. Oh no! Ooh! Too powerful. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Three kings apparently just wins. You know, we've got so much score here. Uh, that's okay. Let's... Get rid of this. We got the spectral pack, so we have opportunity to use our magician here. All right, magician. If I want to make a uh, lucky card, I think I can hold off on this. Opportunity for an aura. Opportunity for a gold seal. Blue seal. Let's go aura. You know, I already have this is polychrome. So, you know, I don't need this to work, but if it did, then that would make my work a lot easier if I just, you know, got the polychrome there. It's one in six to get a polychrome. Uh, three out of six, you get the foil. So no problem there. Uh, I don't need Ouija. I don't need uh, the minus hand size. Um, between these, uh, I don't have the gold seal unlocked yet. So we'll put the gold seal on. This one is the one that I'm going to play. All right, not discovered the supernova. We had the opportunity last time, but we didn't take it. And the buffoon pack. All right, so we've got some options here. Uh, this is gonna be another X Molt with the ramen. Uh, it loses power when you discard. We're using our discards, so maybe I don't want that. Uh, this gives me X Molt for each of my uncommon jokers. I have uncommon uncommon so this is a times two is better than nothing also it's an unlock that we don't already have all right that's it 
Uh, I will say here with the mail-in rebate, uh, the way that it picks a card, it changes the card every round, it picks a random card in your deck. And so if it picks a king, then, well, if we have more kings, it's more likely to pick a king. And then when it does, we can get $3 from all of those. So a huge value possibility here if we weren't already doing the Vagabond stuff. 12 bucks for a uh, garbage tag. That tag is garbage. All right, uh, let's do, I'm gonna make a lucky ace and then I'm just going to play it. All right, lucky. 5,000 points. Uh oh, that's too many points again. Uh, let's go Emperor Strength. Uh, I can go Queen. Actually, what I want is my Jack. Let's try to find our Jack. So let's discard here. Let's discard the King as well. Jack here. Discard another King. These Jacks. Discard another king. Sure. Uh, I want to save my discard for the purple seal. So I'm actually going to play this king. Man, a pair is going to be worth too many points. 4,000. Okay, there we go. We got the jack. We got the queen. Let's go strength. Uh, let's discard two kings and... That's it actually, right? Uh, I would like to find more lucky cards. So maybe let's do this and do that and try to get our lucky cards. We got the death. So death, I can, you know, now I can make a copy of this queen or I'm actually gonna make a copy of this king. Whoops. All right, uh, I've got one more king left in the deck. One more lucky king, that is, right? One more lucky king. Okay. Glass card. So, for example, I can make this 10 into glass and try to break it. Maybe? Ah, bummer. Are right, we got the... Devil. Okay, let's go ahead and make. I'm gonna make this king into gold. Play the three. I don't know what that was. All right. Uh, I don't need more diamonds. This is the last hand, so I'm gonna play the Temperance so that we get the interest money. Um, I can move this on. You know, we've got the the trio here. And let's go for the big score. Unlock the idol. That's a great one. So let's let's take a look here. Let's go to the collection. So the you know let's hit all these uh, exclamation points. <laughs> all right, get all this stuff out of here. Get all this noise out of here. This has been great for our unlocking. Uh, wait, I passed it. Where is the... Oh, I unlocked it, but I haven't seen it yet. Bummer, okay. Well, what are we gonna do now? We're going to open the Celestial Pack. Take whatever, doesn't matter. Maybe it does matter. You know, I don't want to level up too much because then I'm not able to, you know, play as many hands. We saw that was an issue one time. Uh, here I've got the option money or wheel. We'll take the money. $31 is way better value. Um, I want to go for unlocks, you know, so maybe, you know, here's a new unlock. Let's Get rid of the baseball card. This is giving us times two, but you know, we can do better than that. Let's pick up the Scholar. Judgment gives us Blue Joker that we've had before in the past. 
Uh, we already took this magic trick last time. I said we don't want the uh, extra cards. Here, this is a new one. Gives you chips when you play face cards. Here's a new one. Gives you molt when you play a straight. Mars will level up as, you know, we don't really need the backup anymore. Uh, the, the, maybe there's a boss that uh, takes away all your money if you play your most played hand. So like if I play a flush five, or actually it would be high card, so maybe it doesn't matter. But, oh well. It's not like it costs us anything. Uh, let's go splash. Let's go Midas. Turn all my face cards into gold, all my kings into gold. I'd rather than be lucky. Picking these things up, you know, maybe actually I want justice, you know, make another glass card and try to break it. Uh, fool for another Mars card. I don't really want a Mars card. Maybe I want to try to copy something else. Uh, clever Joker I don't need, Jupiter I don't need. Let's roll to go down on money. And I think that's going to be it. So we are going to use the Mars card. Like I said, we are at the point where we're so powerful, it doesn't matter what we do. I could upgrade this seven into glass. I could play the seven. E yeah, let's play the seven, try to break it. Didn't work, how about Empress? We've done it. We finally got the wraparound, we got the uh, strength, turning our queen into a king. Nothing else really matters. Let's do it. So here's, now we've got this polychrome king. We can play, here's a lucky card. Happy to have it. Oh, I forgot we got the splash. That's gonna score all of our cards here. Ooh, awkward. Uh, we could go with this 10, make it lucky. Wait, I want to try to break it. I don't want it to be lucky. Maybe I'll go seven, lucky. Uh, moon, we can use it. Let's go play the 10. All right, chariot, if I want, you know, one of these kings here. Moon, I don't need. Uh, this king is not diamonds yet for some reason. That's okay. Uh, let's discard. So here's a king. Actually, I want to discard these two kings. All right, we've got the tower we can burn. Emperor, death, okay. Now I have my polychrome cards. Let's go ahead and turn this jack into a polychrome card. Uh, Hierophant, if I want, I can go bonus chips here. What do we got left in the deck? Uh, we're out of purple one, so we can go ahead and discard here. We will... I don't need both of these kings. Discard like that. Get the sun. Play the lucky seven. Throw in an extra king to throw it away. Hangman. If I sell the splash, I could get a random joker. Okay, I think that's a new unlock for us, clubs. And we've got one more discard. So let's, I'm gonna discard this golden one. Ah. I'll discard the polychrome one. There we go. Uh, we can play these. All right, uh, wheel, glass six. Here are five kings. And we got the lucky cat action. Oh yeah. Million points. All right, let's go Priestess. Uh, I don't want any of those, so let's go Celestial. 
Eris. Mega Standard. Uh, I don't need this. I got all of my Polychrome action that I wanted. You know, maybe I could get a Red Seal card and I can turn it into a Red Steel card and turn it into a King. That's an option. Uh, we have the technology. Let's do it. I don't need any of this. Uh, do I want diamonds for my jack that I picked up? My jack of hearts? Sure, why not? Let's go upgrade here, full house. Pick up the diamonds. Any new unlocks? E Earth. And Uranus. Okay. All hearts are debuffed. No problem, boss. Hey, like I said before uh, in the previous video, get into the habit of checking out the boss ahead of time. I never do. I always forget. But good habit to have. All right, let's uh, discard some noise here. Uh, here is our red seal card now it is diamonds like we said we've got maybe something like this get rid of these kings all right break my six please upgrade my jack uh, this is clubs break or sorry uh, let's get the lucky eight that's okay uh, the Sun do I want to debuff no so I'm gonna have to sell it uh, Empress I can go ahead and do these Uh, I'll discard like that. We got the death. Okay, so what do I want to make a copy of? I want to make a copy of my polychrome, right? So we'll do that. Then I need to, here's a lucky card that I can play. Here's uh, this I want to hold on to if I potentially get steel. Three of a kind is too powerful. Let's play two pair. Or we'll play one pair. All right, death card. Let's make another polychrome card. Tower. We'll make another stone card. All right. A pair is safe. Trying not to score too many points. All right, these we can go sun and then moon. Let's try to break our 10. Justice, sure. Uh, before we do, do we want a moon? No. So we will go two justice here, two glass cards. We do get the unlock for having glass cards in our deck. Alrighty, let's sell lovers, sell this gluttonous joker, 20 bucks here, fool for another 20 bucks, buy the boss reroll voucher, because we have the money, uh, here's a new unlock, loyalty card, this is one of those where normally you know, this activates every six hands that you play. So normally you don't have enough hands. Normally you have it on sometimes, it's on off some of the other times. So the way that I typically try to use the loyalty card, you know, we demonstrated in the last video that you can, you know, often win rounds with just one hand. So the way that I think about this loyalty card is if I use this, win the small blind with one hand win the big blind with one hand, or maybe win the small and big blind with two hands each. 
then the loyalty card is active for the boss. Use the loyalty card, the extra four times molt, to beat you know, whatever extra challenge that the boss presents. Because the boss, not only is it more points, but also it has some potential you know, hoops that you gotta jump through, some kind of potential drawback that you have to deal with. And so the extra times four helps you beat bosses. And then when you go to the next round, you know, here if we go, you know, look at the blinds. Uh, we just beat uh, in anti six. We just beat forty thousand was the boss. The next round starts at thirty five thousand. The next round starts actually lower than the boss that we just beat. So even though your loyalty card turns off, even though it no longer gives you the times four, you don't need it until you get to the next boss. So that's how I like to think about the loyalty card. It's okay that it's off a lot of the time. All right, in the Arcana pack, you know, never gonna say no to more death, except, you know, maybe what I want is the Judgment, the extra Joker card for the unlock. Uh, but I think it's just gonna be more exciting to go all kings, so we'll go all kings. Uh, we'll re-roll here, we... This is a new unlock, so we're gonna do it. Alright, if you haven't seen, I did put out a video where we went into endless mode. Uh, we did, you know, one of the profiles with everything unlocked and we went into endless mode and we got to anti like 25 or something like that. On the back of this card here, the idol. And so if you don't already know, the way the idol works is it each round, it randomly picks one of the cards in your deck. And so if it randomly picks our king of diamonds, we play five king of diamonds. This is going to give time two, times two, times two. That's times 32. And I can copy it with the blueprint. I can get another times 32. That's times 1000 total. That's huge. This is how you get into the you know, trillions of points, quadrillions of points. Uh, we ended up getting like 10 to the 80th or something like that points in endless mode. Also, if you convert your deck entirely to one card, you know, here we've done a good job of we've got a bunch of kings of diamonds. If we have only kings of diamonds, then when it picks a new card, it can only pick king of diamonds. It will never change on you. It will never betray you. So maybe that's something that we can try to do. That would be very spicy. We did it already in endless mode, but you know, maybe we'll try to do it uh, in this run as well. Uh, to that end, if that's something that I want to do, we'll take the star here so I can get, you know, this king into diamonds. Uh, I do have a new unlock here. I have the glass joker. So, it, you know, it works kind of like the Lucky Cat. Lucky Cat gets bigger as you play more lucky cards. Glass cards, you know, you kind of have this incentive not to play them because you're risking them breaking. This takes away that risk, kind of, right? They still break, but you get some permanent bonus as an exchange. And so maybe what I want to do is take out the trio, pick this up, and then try to grow this. That's not actually what I'm gonna do. I'm just doing it because it's a new unlock. All right, so here we've got uh, these fool for a death card. That's the kind of technology that I'm into. So let's, we'll use the mercury. Dang it, shouldn't have used the mercury because now I got the fool. Now I'm a fool. All right, that's okay. Um, I can use this with the star to make more diamonds. No, we, we botched it. <laughs> we messed it up. That's okay. All right. Uh, we've got skips don't matter. All right. We got the Kings here. Let's go one, two, three, four. Five. I want to try to break this five. So maybe I'll do this. I'll play a pair of kings. All right. Um, use the world. 
use the star. We don't really have to play that carefully anymore. We're so powerful. Maybe do something like this. There we go, we got the death to come back around. So, wait a second. I really want those polychrome ones. Maybe I have enough polychrome ones. Maybe what we'll do now is we'll go, this five of diamonds can become a king. This can become glass. We can discard one of our kings because I know I have extras. We could discard two of our kings. We got the temperance. We're going to hold on to that one. We can play this 10, trying to break it. Nice. We got the strength to turn our queen. Okay. All right, what do we got going on next? We got uh, this purple seal I want to discard. Here are some extra kings that I want to discard. Uh, gold card on the red seal for the re-trigger. Uh, sure. I'm trying to turn it into steel, but short term, gold card, why not? Let's look at, uh, I've got one more purple card in the deck, so let's play these like that. Uh, wait, let's keep that one. This lucky card's gonna, or this lucky cat's gonna go away. Now that we have the idle technology, we don't need the lucky cat. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll use this. We'll go ahead and play. Emperor, okay, we got the death again. So if I wanted to make, you know, another of these. Uh, we can go for the discard here. We don't really need to, but we can. Uh, before we play this, we'll do the temperance. 24 bucks. And... Alright, aren't we glad that we made that gold seal, or that uh, red seal card into gold? Alright, new discovery here, green joker. Uh, you know, this is a little bit hard to parse at first, but basically what it does is you play a hand, it goes up one, you discard a hand, it goes down one. And so, what this says is if you never discard, this goes plus one every hand that you play. Not really what we're working on, but this is something that you could do if you wanted to play a run where uh, you play the low hands like a pair and two pair and three of a kind without using any discards. Then this can grow. The standard packs. Now I want to try to go, you know, it says king of diamonds right now. I want it to stay king of diamonds. I want only king of diamonds. So there's not much that I'm looking for except more king of diamonds. I'm gonna spend my money uh, so that I can unlock my Vagabond again. We got the banana. That's it. That's the Cavendish. Gives you three, three times malt, unconditional. Always three times. So this is the best or among the best, uh, you know, sort of baseline malt that you can get or, or uh, multiplicative bonuses, this times three malt. You know, comparing to the Lucky Cat, Lucky Cat, you got to do a lot of work to level it up. This, you just comes in easy times three. And so if you got the banana, that's what you should go for the banana. You should go for the banana. You should hope that the banana uh, goes extinct on you so that you can get the Cavendish instead. Uh, we do have the opportunity for, uh, this is a rare joker, the DNA. First card you play, you get a copy of it. And so I can fill my deck up with more kings. Um, I don't actually want to do this. I don't actually want more kings. Well, the cards that I have, the 38 cards that I have, I want to turn those into kings, but I don't want to have more cards in my deck because then it's harder to find the specific ones that I'm looking for. So this is not actually something that I want to do. You know, even if I do this, uh, blueprint on the DNA, I get two copies. That's not something that I'm into. 
All right, we've done it. We've got another of these scaling, uncommon, cares about and enhancements, right? So we had the lucky one. We saw the glass one. This is the steel one. Counts the number of steel cards in your deck. We got a lot of steel cards. So this is better than our lucky cat here. Uh, Space Joker. I will go for the unlock. When we play our flush five has a chance to be upgraded. It is compatible with the blueprint. So the blueprint can, you know, give us an extra upgrade. And I think that's it. We're tapped out. So let's use this just to spend our money. And then go to the next one. All right, for this one, we're gonna discard. If it's not a king, I'm gonna discard it. I want to get all my lucky cards. Maybe what I'll do is I'll play some. Save my last discard. Maybe I'll get two purple ones at, at a time. Uh, glass on the ace. Maybe I can break it. Uh, it doesn't need to be diamonds necessarily. This I don't need. Uh, here I've got the two purple ones. I can go ahead and discard. Fool for a moon. I don't really need. So let's do this. Let's go Hierophant. Hierophant again, just to get rid of it. All right, let's play the glass card, I'm trying to break it. We've got the, gives us extra money. Oh well. Uh, this lover's card, I guess this king here can finally become wild if it wasn't already. Uh, we've got, ooh, I can't play four of a kind. That's too powerful. Uh, is it? Isn't it? Let's play three. That should be safe. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about the idol. Ooh, that was almost too much. That's my bad, my bad. All right, uh... Gold card, sure, we can go, you know, if we got extra kings, we can make them gold. This here, we can make gold instead of wild. We can, we already have all of the kings that we need. So let's play this seven. Let's make Empress first. Chariot second, so that it stays a steel card. Let's play it out. We've got the wheel. We've got the Hierophant. And let's go ahead and finish up with our flush five. Uh, do I need to move this? No. Maybe. Would I rather have the extra tarot card or would I rather have the extra chance on my space joker? I'd rather have the tarot cards. All right, next is Ace of Clubs. The idol is deactivated. And so we really need to get rid of all the rest of this stuff. All right, let's go. Hermit for 20, Temperance for 25. New unlock on the business card. So when we play our kings, we get more money from them. Uh, also compatible with the blueprint, can copy that effect. Standard pack looking only for more kings. Not gonna do it. Celestial pack looking for that flush five. Didn't get it. Uh, here I'm gonna skip and the reason why I'm gonna skip is because you know, maybe we get a fool card uh, Here's more discoveries. So we'll unlock the castle We'll unlock the card sharp card sharp gives you times mult if you play a poker hand more than once So for example, if you play two full houses, the second one will be worth more 
Um, the way to think about this is if I have to play two hands, if I have to play two full houses, and the second one is worth three times as much, this kind of averages out to you're playing two hands, each one is worth twice as much. So on average, this is like a times two joker. Or since us, you know, since we're playing the flush five, uh, we don't need that extra times three. All right, more looking for unlocks here. Maybe justice for glass cards. Gives us a bonus if we don't have, or if we have only black cards, spades, or clubs. Let's, I will take the Mars. All right, some more unlocks here. Bonus if we play three or fewer cards. We don't need to do that. Uh, bonus if we play a straight. We don't need to do that. One more roll here. There's that stencil again. If I buy this Mars, that'll take me to zero. And we can go next. All right, extra large. 140,000, I think with just the base flush five, we could do it. We don't need the benefit of this idol. All right, what do we wanna do with this strength card? Strength card can potentially turn our jack into a king, though it would take a few steps. So I'm just gonna use the strength card to get rid of it. Um, I'm gonna use justice card to get rid of it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play here, play the ace. Didn't break, but eight and ace, we can go ahead and hang those. Uh, if I sell the superposition, I could get a different joker. Splash we've seen before. Try to break this seven. Sun, okay. Priestess. Upgrade our flush five. Let's go for a discard. So let's discard all of these world play looking for more purple seals now diamonds is there a king that i have that's not diamonds i do have that uh king that i could draw clubs i don't need maybe i will hold on to this then maybe i'll hold on to the star so let's go here let's go here let's go here Play this seven, trying to break it. Nice. Uh, we do have the jack in the deck that we can try to strength up. So let's use our discard now. So we've got these. Um, I know I have extra lucky cards, so we can actually discard more than this. There we go. Here's a discard. I can discard these. Maybe I want to try to break this six. Yeah, let's do that. Try to break the six. Nice. King, king, eight, discard. All right, I didn't get what I wanted. That's okay. Now, just to be safe here, you know, I'm not getting any more tarot cards because I'm holding on to these. Uh, let's go ahead and copy our steel joker for the times 3.5. All right, that takes us to, let's go Arcana Pack first. I wanna to try to use up these uh, tarot cards. Um, I didn't get what I was looking for. I did get the Jack so I can strength the Jack. Um, I have an extra lucky card if I wanna do it or I can make a gold card. Let's go lucky. Celestial Pack, uh, before I open the Celestial Pack, Let's use the priestess. All right, Jupiter, let's, here's an unlock. Let's roll 
Here's another unlock. This is actually useful to me. The extra hand size. So I play one less hand per round, but if I have extra hand size, you know, maybe I can hold extra gold cards in hand. Maybe it'll be easier for me to find my clubs for the star. We got the Eris card. Uh, I can't afford a reroll, which means I'm not able to go down on the money. So yeah, sorry, Troubadour, you're out. And this Jupiter can be a emperor and emperor. There you go. Doubles our money from zero if we want to take that. This tag here, the voucher tag, maybe I am interested in. So you can re-roll in the shop. You can re-roll for more jokers and tarot cards and planet cards. The thing that you can't get is you can't get more vouchers. So, you know, this may cost us, you know, we're getting like, I don't know, $50 worth of value, $100 worth of value. Uh, each round so if I skip around I lose a hundred dollars this voucher is something that money can't buy so it's gonna be worth the skip all right going in here uh, I am looking for that king of clubs um, so let's go Emperor first tower use it I'm gonna discard once discard these extra the shiny kings or maybe we'll I'll keep one of them in case I get a death card I did get the strength again so strength I can go I have my queen that I'm looking for sure so here uh, the steel ones the gold ones I don't need we did get the queen all right that's uh you know one less uh, card for the idol let's go play the eight trying to break it all right let's oops let's not copy the steel joker perfect Okay, we can go lucky on this eight, play it. Fool, if I want another lucky card, I guess. Plenty of lucky cards. Uh, I am gonna play the two eights and then maybe get rid of one of these kings. Maybe two of these kings. Maybe one of these kings. Maybe we're scoring too many points. Almost. Uh, here we go. The king that I wanted to turn into diamonds, I can do that. Just like we drew it up. And then immediately discard it. Judgment. Smeared Joker that we just unlocked. Okay, great. Uh, we don't have any more discards, so let's play pair eights. How about just one eight? Let's play one or one king. There we go. Uh, Hierophant, don't need temperance, $25. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure we play all the gold ones. And I have 50,000 points, no problem. All right, we will, here's a voucher that we haven't discovered. For the sake of discovery, I'm going to take it. Uh, though with this one, you know, it adds extra planet cards to the shop. I don't actually need more planet cards. Once you get above, you know, 10 or 15 or whatever, uh, one extra planet card does not give me that much. So it gives me plus three molt and plus 40 chips or something like that. So plus 40 chips is less than 10%. Plus three molt is again less than 10%. So here, you know, maybe it's a 10% bonus if I get one of these planet cards. Uh, if I get 
you know, once I get up to level 20, then the next planet card is worth less than 4% bonus. And so uh, I don't need that as much as if I'm going into endless mode and I want to try to live forever and score even higher and higher, the main thing that I want are going to be better jokers, better than the ones that I have here. So this is not something that I normally want, but I am going to take it just for the sake of the unlock. Uh, standard pack just to spend our money. All right, no kings. Uh, we did get some kings, but they're not diamonds. I already have a red seal king, so I don't need that. The idol has switched to the king of diamonds. You know, now we have a bunch of kings of diamonds, but we do have some liabilities here. Uh, the stone card. The idol cannot select a stone card, so turning cards into stone is just as good as removing cards from the deck. Something to keep in mind. All right, so re-rolling here, death is super important. We want that one. Uh, looking for new unlocks here. Dusk, that's a new one and an important one. So if we have idle giving us times two on all of our kings, this will trigger all of those effects again. So it does have the drawback of it only works on the final hand. And so if you need the scoring, you have to use all your hands. You lose all your money from the extra hands normally give you money. So most of the time you don't want this in your run, but in the very rare situations, particular situations where you have a lot of uh, jokers that trigger effects, then this retrigger could be worth it. So for example, if we go into the collection here and we'll look at things like uh, we did the Lusty Joker last time. So this giving you plus four on all of your hearts. Dust gives you another plus four on all of your hearts. So it gives you another copy is all that it does. But if we have this Lusty Joker and at the same time, maybe we've got the Scholar, we've got Aces of Hearts, then now this Dusk is pulling double duty. It's copying both of those effects. Or maybe if we have this... Uh, we ended up not buying it, but the Bloodstone gives you an effect when you play hearts also. You know, you can stack those kinds of effects together at the cost of you have to use all of your hands. For us, this is huge. You know, if the idol gives us times 32, and then if we copy it, this together, this is times 1000, this Dusk is another times 1000 on top of that. And that's not counting the Polychrome effect. All right, uh, can I get down below $7? I can if I sell this Steel Joker. Boom, done. This is another great one. Uh, this removes enhancements from your cards, but then has this permanently stacking uh, times molt here. The great combination with Vagabond. Vagabond gives you a bunch of tarot cards. Tarot cards give you uh, enhancements. And then this vampire takes away the enhancements. Uh, I think, you know, if we just want to score more and more points, we don't want the vampire. All right, here we said the voucher tag. That's something that, you know, money can't buy. So we're going to pick that up and then go into the Cerulean Bell. We did not save money to reroll the boss. Probably we should have saved money to reroll the boss, but we didn't, so we're gonna have to live with our choices. This has the drawback of this card is forced to be selected. That's okay. And the reason why that's okay is uh, I'm gonna discard these. You know, I have plenty of kings of diamonds. So it doesn't matter if some of them are auto-selected by the bell. Uh, I am going to discard some of these, you know, other kings here, the gold kings. We get the star that we don't necessarily need. Here's another king for me to discard. Maybe like this. We've got strength. If I want it, 
or actually what I want to do is I want to use death to make a copy here. Perfect. That one is forced to be selected. That's okay. This strength, it should have used the strength first. Oh well. All right, we can't use the strength. Let's go play the steel ones. Three of a kind is too much because of the idle. So maybe I'll play two of these. It's tough. Try not to score too many points. 9,000. Okay, I can live with 9,000. That's fine. Um, if I play this, it's going to give me a dollar. Dang. If I play this ace, it's not going to give me a dollar. Nice. Uh, I don't want to use the Hierophant. Tower here. I'm forced to select this king, so I can't use the tower. That's okay. Let's try to break this ace. All right, we've got the star I can use. And this king, we said two kings are safe if I play two kings. All right, this is glass card. I could try to break it or I could just turn it into stone. That would be the same effect. So maybe let's do that. Let's go Empress first, then turn it into stone. So it is essentially deleted for the purposes of the idol. And we said two kings is safe to play. Hanged man, I'll be using that later. I don't want to delete my king. Uh, lovers, I don't need to happen. But, you know, now I'm at a place where I'm not able to get more tarot cards if I sell this. That's okay. So let's go ahead and we'll just use the kings now. Plenty of points even without the dusk. And we get another unlock there. Ooh, and we unlocked a new deck. All right, folks, uh, you know, this one, we had kind of a lot going on because we had the Vagabond. We had a lot of decisions to make there with the sort of sculpting of our deck, uh, making all these kings. So I think that's going to be it for this video. But, uh, you know, this is kind of a good run that we're on here. We got all these kings of diamonds. We got the idol. We got the blueprint and the dusk. So maybe what we'll do is uh, in the next one, we will go into endless mode and we will finish up this run and see sort of how far we can go because there are unlocks associated with uh, getting high enough ante in endless mode. So we'll save that for the next one. Uh, I'll look forward to see you, seeing you then.